In this session, we'll talk about another SAP error and its solution. So guys, uh, now here, this error has taken place during automatic payment program run, APP run. And what is the error? This is the error in table t uh, 074 u the entry key is missing. And this is the message number. If you double click on that line, then this message number will appear. Now here, guys, uh, if you search on, uh, if you search the solutions for this error, you'll be getting lots of confusing, uh, what do you say, uh, solutions on Google, right? So I'll tell you very simple root cause of, uh, you know, there is a very simple root cause of this error. So that I'll let you know. Let me uh, go to SAP first. Okay. So here F110 and uh, this error. Okay, so this error was like uh, shared by one of my student and uh, this is the, what to say, run date and identifications for him that you can get from here, whatever your proposal and uh, what to say, run date and identification code is there. Now you check here on proposal and if we check here, just drag down. Now, so look at here, everything is fine. Here, if you guys are going to have a look, everything is fine. This is like a proposal. Of course, you have to uh, go for your, you have to uh, go for analysis. Like uh, in proposal itself, like uh, issue will be there and most likely the root cause also will be specified. So here, what is happening guys? Till here, everything is fine. At last, SAP uh, system is saying that, okay, this in this table entry, K is missing okay now here so there is no much information right by looking at this message uh, what kind of conclusion you guys are going to get nothing if you double click on this one then what is happening simple one error message is there that's it nothing else apart from this so i'll tell you guys this uh, error has taken place it's because of posting key okay or is on google if you guys are going to say People will say that have you assigned your special real indicator uh, in uh, this, you know, FBZB configurations or not. So here I'll tell you, no need to assign this special real indicators and all. And if you talk about this transactions, this transaction also, it is a normal transactions, right? This is not related to a special, uh, what do you say, GL related transactions and all. This is normal invoice, simple invoice, right? So it has it has nothing to do with those configurations and all pretty simple solution is there. Let me open one more screen here and I'll show you. So generally what is happening here in automatic payment program when you guys are going to post the payment then what will happen vendor account is going to be debited and your bank account is going to be credited right. So here payment related transactions from you just go to transaction code OB41. Okay, so when you talk about outgoing payment debit here and where it is 25, you have to check the posting key 25. And of course, here somebody might have made the experiment. And the experiment is look at here, this is a normal posting key which is going to be used for vendor, and that too in a normal what to say activities only, but somebody has selected special GL, right. This is related to, of course, vendor itself, 25 debit vendor, right? So this is not like, look at here, if it is special GL transactions, then clearly it is going to specify that this is special GL and that to for customer or vendor, whatever it is, right? So 29 is for a special GL, right? This 25 is outgoing payment and for normal transactions, but somebody has applied a check mark here. So simply remove this check mark and save it, that's it. Nothing else apart from this, guys. Press enter. So now what will happen? Let me check. So now it should work fine. It should work fine. Delete this proposal. Delete the proposal. I run the proposal once again. Press enter. Enter. Press enter. And now if you have a look, come down here. Look at here, the accounting entry has taken place. It means whatever the error is there that got rectified. So this is what the solution of this issues, guys.